Hello, welcome. I'm Erica Jones. I am the Director of Membership and Outreach here at Somerville Media Center and the Volunteer Coordinator at the Somerville Community Growing Center. I am in the studio today for a quick announcement with the ever wonderful Andrea Shapiro, the founder and CEO of Second Chances Clothing Donations Program. And we're going to find out a little bit about what they have going on for the upcoming month in terms of events and programming and how you all can get out and help support this awesome nonprofit organization. Welcome. Thanks, Erica. It's nice to be here. Welcome back. So what do we have coming up? We've got, it's September and we've got a lot going on. We're really excited about uh, next week. Our big event is a community clothing drive. It's at the Somerville Community Growing Center. Thanks to you. And Thanks to you for putting on the event, really. <laughs> we're, well, we're excited to collaborate, and it's always been a good event. Uh, meet lots of people from the community. Uh, our neighbors are incredibly generous, and I love meeting them in person and spending time with them. So we'll be at the Community Growing Center from 4 to 7 p.m. on Wednesday, September 27th, collecting clothing. And Second Chances is the only clothing donation program in our area that provides free clothing to homeless and low-income folks in Somerville and Cambridge. Um, men, women, children, casual clothing, dressier clothing, clothing for work, um, we'll take it all. And what we're not able to use for our clients, we're able to recycle and, uh, and reuse for other folks in the community, or uh, it gets recycled and it gets reused in things like car mats and wow. carpets and all kinds of interesting futon stuffing. Wow. Uh, yeah, so if you want to learn more about textile recycling or you want to learn more about our programs and how to get involved, uh, come see us at the Growing Center. We'll have materials and sign up forms and all kinds of stuff. I want to show you a yes. little bit about the impact yes, of clothing recycling and reuse. So this is about 10 pounds of clothing. It's a regular size like kitchen trash bag full. Um, so that's 10 pounds, so every Deceiving. person, yeah. On, yeah, right, Right. every person on average generates about eight uh, bags, 80 pounds a year of clothing waste, which means by the time you are 25 years old, you've generated a ton of a literal, ton. a literal ton, 2,000 ton. pounds okay. of clothing waste, of textile waste, and that's clothing, that's that's textiles primarily. That's horrifying. It's horrifying, <laughs> yes. Yeah, yeah. So that means uh, a lot of bags yes. this size right. at 80 a year. Wow. <laughs> and then you multiply that by, I mean, there's 80, about 80,000 people who live in Somerville, so that alone in a microcosm of an example. It's huge. That's so, a lot of waste. And we recycle and reuse about 200,000 pounds of clothing every year in Somerville and Cambridge uh, through our clothing donation bins. So if you can't make it to the clothing drive on Wednesday of next week, you can uh, donate to us. We have several locations in the area, and they're on our website, which is www.secondchances.org and just go to Donate Clothing and it'll tell you where our uh, seven donation locations are. Two of them are in Somerville and then we have some in the surrounding communities. And we're always looking for more. So if you're a local business owner and you're looking for a way to bring generous people into your business or promote your business as a member of the community that cares about people in need or cares about the environment and recycling, please get in touch and we'd love to talk with you about potentially hosting one of our donation bins or hosting a clothing drive at your location. So I appreciate that. I also want yeah. to share some great news. We, uh, Erica and I, are part of a group of nonprofits in the area that have been meeting and talking yeah. about collaborations. We're called Somerville Can, and it's a group of loosely 15 nonprofit organizations that do a variety of things from arts to human services to uh, media. media. Uh, <laughs> yeah, Supporting each other. All kinds of things. We work yeah. together on things that affect us in general, so we're working on just figuring out ways that we can work together and through those relationships Second Chances was able to find some really affordable nonprofit office space in Union Square yep. and we're going to be moving our office out of my home Yay. which is wonderful it'll make us more accessible That's and wonderful. able to tap into local students for interns and all kinds of opportunities. So we're really excited about that. Here. It's, it's over here in Union Square, right down the street with some of our colleagues. 
uh, as well. So we'll be able to share some resources with colleagues within the office as well. So I'm really excited about that. And it should be happening in the next couple of months. We'll have a little celebration. So Wonderful. keep an eye on our website or sign up for our e-newsletter and you can get more information about that. And hopefully we'll have a chance to meet in person either at the Growing Center or at our office warming party or yeah. somewhere out in the community. So next Wednesday, or Wednesday, Wednesday, September 27th, 4 to 7 p.m. 22 some, Vinyl Ave. 22 Vinyl Ave. The Growing Center is phenomenal. If you haven't yeah. been there, it's one of our local treasures. And a quarter acre of urban ag space that is just not everybody knows about. So hopefully you will feel encouraged to want to come by for obviously this event, but also in general to come pop in and escape. Escape the urban uh, jungles <laughs> sometimes. Yes, absolutely. <laughs> it's a nice, it's a nice little respite in our city. So, well, thank you. Thank you. Thanks for having me. Uh, Second Chances, one of the wonderful uh, nonprofit resources here in Somerville, and we'll have all the information available on the screen here. And thank you, Andrea. Thanks, Erica. And uh, that is it. We'll talk to you soon. See you.